was a little bit of a rough road to get here, but so worth it, right? What's your place? Good morning internet, it is 9.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in a very noisy Nebach here in Guatemala. I spent the whole morning running around trying to find an ATM to get some cash out because I didn't have any anymore. That's sorted, so now I'm ready to hit the road. I will quickly show you what my plan is for today on the map. So I'm now right here in Nebach and my plan is to ride to Sumuk Champe over here via this place called uh, Koban. Let's go. Also need to fill up on petrol because I'm almost empty. So the reason that I'm going to make a quick stop in Koban is actually another one in the category logistical technical problems that I'm trying to solve. Again, I have a problem with my laptop. It's uh, not charging. So in Koban there is a, a shop that I can uh, go to. Hopefully it's just a matter of the charging cable. So let's see, I have to uh, solve that because now um, I can't use my laptop again. So hopefully that's a quick fix and then I can continue to Samuk Champe, which is a very beautiful part of, well, it's a place in Guatemala, but it's in a very beautiful part of Guatemala as well. So I'm quite looking forward to that. It's a gorgeous day. Let's hope it stays like that. Okay, let's quickly fill up. Buenas regular, por favor, lleno. Okay, that's done. These views are really, well, not even that high up at the moment, 2,100. The views are incredible, hey. Oh, he just told me that uh, they were only open in 40 minutes. I have to wait 40 minutes here. So, uh, so well, it's going to take a while. It was 40 minutes absolutely boiling in the burning sun. <laughs> but finally I can pass this stretch. There's still comes traffic from the other side. Finally!
back on gravel. Look at this view though. Oh. The views today are really wow, just spectacular, right? Alright, I am now in uh, Koban. I just went into this uh, shopping mall with my laptop and it looks like it was a cable, as I was hoping. So I just bought another cable. So that should be all good now, again, hopefully. <laughs> so... Now oh, I forgot my strap. Off we go, because the hardest part of today, I think, is yet to come. I think it's gonna be a little bit of a rough road. Wow, it is so green here. Incredible. Okay, there I'm leaving the tar. Face it goes. Right. Let's see how steep this will get. It's getting a, a little rough up here. Very narrow as well. Oh, going wrong. Turn around. I missed the turn. Somewhere again. Yeah, it's difficult to look at my navigation when I'm standing up on the pegs. Wow, look at this view. Amazing, right? Puede pasar. You see now they're pushing the truck. Okay. Oh, my God. 
Let's go to Samuk Champe. See if I can get back up this. It's a very foggy, misty morning, but it will clear up in a little bit. They told me. Ah, look at that. This morning mist makes everything look very mysterious, isn't it? Bridge. Hi puppies. Look at this. Wow. The color of the water is incredible, right? Bienvenidos a San Jampe. Buenas. Right, a little jungle walk and then uh, I'll reach Samuk Champe. Welcome to paradise. What a magical place, right? Absolute paradise, paradise, paradise. And the water is just absolutely crystal clear. It's unbelievable. And in some places, no, <laughs> I can't stand here. It's quite deep. I can't stand in any of this. Just gonna go a little bit to this uh, waterfall here. Look. And the temperature of the water is it's amazing. I thought maybe early morning it's gonna be cold, but it's not cold at all, it's just super refreshing. It was a little bit of a rough road to get here. But so worth it, right? What a place. I really can't believe I'm the only one here. I came early morning, I was the first one here. I paid off. Wow. I can't believe nobody else is here. It's unbelievable. I expected there uh, to be massive crowds here, but I'm the only one. <laughs> I mean, those hot baths in Shela were amazing, but <laughs> I think I prefer this. This is even better. And the place that I'm staying is actually also right alongside this river. So, I'll show you later um, where I'm spending the night and you can see the river from there as well. But everywhere it has this kind of bluish or kind of turquoise, turquoise, turquoise? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Color. It's just, just so, so gorgeous and the water is so clear and clean. Just really happy to uh, find places like this, you know, that are not contaminated. I even see little fish here. Oh, there's loads of fish. I can't put the camera on the water now because I have an external microphone attached. But there's little fish uh, swimming here. Amazing, amazing. 
Right, let's go for another swim. was totally amazing, totally amazing. Ah, absolutely love it. What a place, this area is so beautiful. I'm actually already excited about my next ride, which I'm planning to do in this area as well. I think it's gonna be uh, <laughs> probably quite the adventure as well. Let's head back towards the hostel. Gracias! Ciao! Ustedes se venden chocolate? Sí. Sí. ¿Qué tienes? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto vale uno? Cinco. Cinco. Sí. Ah. ¿Quieres? ¿Cuánto? Vamos a ver. Tengo cien. ¿Cuánto? <ríe> uno, dos, cinco, ¿eh? Entonces es veinte. Treinta. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto vas a querer? Cien. Sí, cuatro mil. Cien chocolates. Cien. Aquí, aquí, ahí. <ríe> 20 40 40 No, a 40 y 40 vas a comprar ah, amiga. 100. Ya. Aquí que hay 80 el mío. 80 ya. 40. Aquí hay 80. Ese es 80. Ojalá. 100. <risa> Gracias a ti. Uh. Adiós. <laughs> All right. I just bought uh, wait, 100 quetzales. That's like uh, $15 worth of chocolate. You know, one can never buy too much chocolate. So I hope it's going to be good. Because this region is quite uh, famous for uh, 
for the chocolate making. So I was already on the lookout for, for some uh, artisanal chocolate. And I think it's also nice for them when, you know, when the day just starts and you've already sold out pretty much everything. That's such a good feeling, right? No more pressure for that day to sell. All is good. It's so nice to ride without luggage. <laughs> All of these uh, steep hills are uh, a lot easier to tackle now. Now that the last guy is light, nothing is weighing me down. Ooh, watch out, bird. See here you can see the river again. Path going down. So, this is the exact same river as I was swimming in just now. See, here you can also see the amazing color. It's kind of greenish here. I'm staying just a little bit further down the river. This view just doesn't get boring at all. What a magical place. It's okay. I am back at my little cabin next to the river. You can probably hear the river from here. So I have a little porch with a hammock and then, well, just right between, I think you can see the river over here. It's just right behind those trees over there and I have a nice outdoor shower as well look at that that's my shower so I can shower outdoors really really nice place to stay um, I am just going to try out one of the chocolates that I bought see if it's any good homemade chocolate mm. That is very nice. That's a very different taste from, yeah, how it's called a factory produced chocolate. This homemade chocolate, ah, oh, very nice and strong flavor. So while I am going to indulge in this chocolate, I'm going to end this video now. That was it for today. I really hope you liked this video and that you like this beautiful place here in Guatemala. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.